Hey folks, Mike Dawkins from Worldcast Anglers here with your Jackson Hole Weekend Fly Fishing Forecast for the weekend of May 30th and 31st. May has left us, June waits, and with that comes Golden Stones, Green Drakes, the beginning of the salmon flies on the South Fork. A lot of our local area tributaries and creeks will start clearing towards the end of the month of June, so we couldn't be more excited to have more fishing opportunities to talk about here on our Fly Fishing Forecast. The Worldcast Anglers Fly Shop is open seven days a week now, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. We got everything that you need. You're heading to the Henry's Fork for salmon flies. You're heading to the South Fork for nymphing and streamer fishing. You're looking to fish some of our local lakes and reservoirs like Henry's Lake, heading to Yellowstone, any of those things. We've got what you need. We couldn't be more excited to see everyone. So please stop in, say hey. Idaho allows non-resident fishing licenses here. This is coming into the second week. So stop in. We've got everything that you need and we'll take care of you to the best of our abilities. Saturday, 81 degrees. First time in the 80s here in Teton Valley and it feels pretty good. Low of 50. Sunday, 75 and 51. We're out here on the Teton. Wanted to come check it out. Flows are high but not abnormally high. Water clarity isn't that bad. Uh, but we have got a lot of debris coming down through the river. So what that tells me is these last couple days when it's got really warm, we've actually seen debris starting to let loose. I would expect a lot of tributaries and freestone rivers like the Snake, the Teton, and some of those other things to really increase in flow and decrease in clarity as we come into this weekend where we get some really nice warm weather. Jackson Lake's 86%, Palisades Reservoir 73%, so those things are filling up pretty quick. Henry's Fork, 440 CFS from the box, 1,770 CFS there in the lower river. We've got salmon flies mostly concentrated on the upper part of the river. Look for Riverside to Hatchery Ford, Osborne to Riverside to be some good floats, the Box Canyon. If you're looking for big bug fishing, that's the place to be. Riverside Campground doesn't open until June 1. So if you put in at Wood Road 16 or something like that, you're going all the way to Hatchery Ford. The lower river. We've seen salmon flies sort of rip through there. Be ready with golden stones and green drakes here probably in the next oh, seven to 10 days, maybe a little bit sooner if we get some warm weather, maybe a little bit later if things cool off a little bit. But also check out Chester to Fun Farm. It can offer some really good salmon fly fishing sort of last uh, because the fall river is so cold. Expect the Henry's Fork to be a busy place. Get ready to practice your boat ramp etiquette. Be ready to practice your on-river etiquette or go early or go late and try to avoid the crowds. Any of those are going to be more, uh, more productive for you and the enjoyment of your fishing day. The South Fork of the Snake, 13,900 CFS being discharged from Palisades Dam, 14,600 CFS there on the lower river around High and Lorenzo. Nothing new really to report. The South Fork went up to 14,000 CFS. It was down around 11 or 12. Not that big of a deal things have sort of shifted out. The fish were really hungry when the water was around 11 or 12,000 CFS. As things adjust, they'll get hungry again, mostly a nymphing game, streamer game. There's some talk if it stays at 14,000 CFS for the rest of the year, they can manage inflow and outflow pretty well with minimal um, adjustments. That would be heaven sent for us. Think about salmon flies there and you know, right around the last couple weeks of June, 14,000 CFS, God, makes me foam in the mouth. So look for the South Fork of the Snake to provide some really good fishing options here, uh, as well as the Henry's Fork if you want to space out. The Snake in Jackson, 2,550 CFS being discharged from Jackson Lake Dam, 12,800 CFS going in. So it looks like before the salt and the grays, you know, they're sort of net equal there with inflow to outflow out of Palisades Dam. The Snake's dirty uh, for most of the river. Grand Teton National Park is open for bank angling only. So you want to check out Jenny Lee String Lake, fish some of those uh, lakes from foot. Those can be a blast. Look for the dam to Pacific Creek to be your really only other weight fishing options up there this time of year. I'd fish an intermediate line, maybe a light sink tip directly below the dam. Crelex, Clouser Minnow, Sparse Streamers can do a, a great job of catching some of those lake trout down in there and I wouldn't uh, be surprised if you saw some dry fly fishing uh, you know with betas, caddis, maybe some leftover midges or something like that in the rest of the reaches you know it's sort of tough to say that is a high flow for this time of year but not too high so if you're looking for the snake look for dam to pacific creek look in Grand Teton National Park at some of the lakes to have you know some great times 
You know, this is probably the only time you can go up and fish Jackson Lake, Jenny Lake, String Lake, Lee Lake, or any of those other lakes without any boats on it. So maybe this is the weekend to go check that out and see something different. The Teton behind me, 585 CFS up here in the valley, 2,120 CFS there on the lower river. So the lower river down there around um, Rexburg is flowing about the same as the discharge from the snake. So things are getting high, they're getting dirty, probably not the place where I would go fishing this weekend. Yellowstone National Park, fishing season's open. Firehole and Madison are fishing really well. Look for those to be good with caddis, baitis, probably some PMDs on days like this when it's sunny, nice and warm. Swinging soft tackles and streamers can also be very productive on the fire hole in the Madison. Maybe check out the West Thumb, some of those creek mouths and things along those lines. If you have a boat or a drift boat with a motor, those can be really good with full sinking lines, small sparse streamers, uh, leeches, anything like those. So. Just be aware of the weather and things that are going on. Being out on the West Thumb or Yellowstone Lake is really not the place where I want to be in a fiberglass drift boat. So be cognizant, be aware of your weather and your surroundings. We also had Henry's Lake opened up, you know, the Saturday Memorial Day weekend. It snowed here uh, about three inches. I couldn't imagine how cold and windy and nasty it was uh, up there in Island Park on Henry's Lake. But Sunday was really nice. We heard some good fishing reports. Guys fishing intermediate lines, maybe a type three line, you know, mohair leeches, small buggers, you know, damselfly nymphs, chrononomids, uh, and midges have been really good uh, on lake retrieves and things like that. Bobber fishing with chrononomids, midges, worms, everything along those lines can be very productive as well. So flat water, moving water, big water, low water, clear water, stained water, we've got a little bit of everything. So. As I said before, we're open Monday through Sunday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Stop in, say hello, pick up what you need. We're here for you guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. Have a great weekend and a safe weekend on the water. And enjoy some of this warm, sunny weather because we are due to it. Thanks again. Take care.